Hey you guys, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet and I am back to do your weekly readings for June 15th through the 21st and we are now on Aquarius. So Aquarius, as I've been telling all the signs, if you do not have your birth chart, please go to Google, put in free birth charts and put in your accurate birth time and your uh, birth location, city, state, country, whatever that is. It must be accurate to get your birth chart, but you need your birth chart if you are into astrology, tarot, you need to know your birth chart placements, okay? Alrighty, so let's get right into it. Spirits, ancestors, guys, divine spirit, holy spirit, and holy angels, please give me accurate messages for Aquarius for this upcoming week. What's their energy? What do they need to know? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. Okay. Intuition came out. This is for Aquarius. Two more, please, for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter for my Aqua babies. All righty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I will take what flipped, okay? Let's get one more for Aquarius. One more for Aquarius. Oh, okay. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have trapped in fear. Ooh, already said intuition. Then we have material and spiritual prosperity. Then we have the shadow card, which is the moon card in traditional tarot. Okay, so right away, Aquarius, it's like you are feeling stuck. You may feel, yeah, you may feel like you're stuck in a relationship or like you're stuck being someone's husband or you may feel like you're the one that takes care of all the bills, all the money. You may feel like a lot of responsibility is on you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. And remember, this will not resonate with every single Aquarius. Um, that's why I tell you to check your placement so you, in your birth chart so you can know what signs to read or to look for. Um, but yeah, I feel like you are trying to use your spirituality your intuition to guide you yeah but you're feeling trapped it's like I feel like a heaviness as far as responsibilities are concerned like like you're you're feeling stuck in a marriage or maybe you're going through some type of divorce but you're not fully sep or you're not fully divorced yet but you're separated is what I'm trying to say <clears throat> And with spiritual, material and spiritual prosperity, I feel like that's what you are seeking. You want your material life and your spiritual life to align and be on one accord. And you, you're feeling stuck. For some reason, you're feeling like you're trapped in this. With the shadow card, it's like something needs to be brought to light for you. Something needs to be seen for you. There, there are a lot of secrets here. And you need to bring something to light, okay, with your spirituality or just with your your intuition. Something is telling you what to do. You really need to listen, okay? And you may have a fear of being successful. <clears throat> we always say fear of failure, but I also believe that there is a fear of success. There's a fear that a lot of people have of being the first one to graduate college, being the first one in their family to be a millionaire or to make it big on the big screen or in acting or being the only one with the business in your family, you know? So I'm feeling that there's a little bit of fear there. Let's clarify these cards. We may go over time just a little bit on, on your reading. Yeah, let me clarify these cards. Wise intuition here, material and spiritual prosperity, and the shadow card. Why are they here for Aquarius? Yeah, the chariot, two of wands, 
and the nine of swords six of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck we just got that for capricorn yeah the chariot card i feel like you you're trying to move forward but it's like something may be trying to hold you back or stop you from moving forward yeah or you may be holding yourself back from making a decision two of wands but you have to make a choice it's like i feel like the spirit is telling you make a choice to move forward and let go of whatever this trapped feeling is you may odd oh, yes 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 i just heard father you may be feeling trapped by a parental figure someone who's very controlling in your life someone you thought you were free from but they still kind of have a reign over you a control over you and this is keeping you up at night this is worrying you stressing you out nine of swords so yeah i feel like you're trying to keep keep all these things together but you're feeling the weight of a very controlling person with this authority card someone or something is controlling your life and i feel like this coming week you're going to have to release it whether that's a controlling boss a father figure or controlling husband controlling wife controlling partner you're going to have to release it and move forward i feel like you want to move on but at the same time your money may be tied to this thing or this person but you, you're needing to release this. And that way you can truly let go of all these fears and move forward and into your destiny, into your material and spiritual prosperity, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you. Uh, sorry that I went over time just a little bit. I try to keep these videos five minutes or less. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. Um, if you would like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Please read all the way through to see how to obtain a personal reading with your girl, Sophia Monet. I look forward to hearing from you. Aquarius, I hope you have a great week. Take care. Bye.